definitely when you're playing uh, such games as a cup game, you, you do practice penalties and uh, of course you go through also your opponent's penalties, the ones that uh, they kicked previously, whether it's last year or this year, and you get to know them better because you need to prepare very well for the opponents. And of course, for me and uh, the goalkeeping department, we were doing our best to know uh, how our opponents kick the penalties. And uh, at the end of the day, it paid off because, well, I managed to save five penalties, which was incredible. But uh, I've seen it before with Kennedy Mune doing it against Kaiser Chiefs in the opening game of the season in the ancient eight. So uh, it was a little bit of a, a challenge for me uh, because I had to do what he did. And uh, thank God I managed to do it. Dennis, you spoke a little bit about the healthy competition that there is currently at Mamelodi Sundowns in the goalkeeping department. Is there a bet on among the keepers that you guys are going to keep a certain amount of <laughs> clean sheets? Because not only were there amazing heroics at the Moses Mabida Stadium from you uh, on Saturday in the MTN8 final, but you guys have gone seven league matches without conceding a single goal. Uh, we, we do. We don't have any uh, bets that we do as goalkeepers, but uh, we defend so hard as a team and uh, we press high. When we lose the ball, we try and win it as soon as possible. So uh, it gives us more chance to defend our goal because the more we have the ball, we have security and uh, we, we don't concede a lot of goals. So we try as much as possible to stay focused and try and uh, keep the team in the game because, of course, Every team will get a chance against us. doesn't matter how weak the team or how strong the team is, but we just need to stay focused and try and keep the team in the game as long as we can. So that's what's keeping us going because uh, whoever plays knows that he's got a challenge and he's got to do what the other goalkeeper is doing, and that's to keep the clean sheets. Were you not frustrated at all that uh, your teammates up front couldn't kill the game within 90 minutes? Because there certainly were opportunities, more than enough opportunities to do that. Of course, we were all frustrated, but uh, uh, we know that uh, the infield players or the strikers, they don't miss on purpose because they, they, their job is to score the goals. But uh, when they miss, we, we feel the pain, but we, we have to encourage them and keep them going because, you know, another chance is coming and uh, we need to stay focused. Unfortunately for us in the MTN8, we did not uh, keep the focus. Uh, I think I lost the ball that uh, uh, became a goal. And uh, we had to keep fighting and I had to stay focused as well. So for us, the more we keep focused and encourage them up front, the easier it comes for us. And we, we, we manage to get the goals and it, it becomes a little bit more competitive for the other guys as well. And listen to me, everybody, listen to me. 1976, so I thought, guys, a lot of people, all the students, were shot at the bed. And never got the opportunity, listen, and never got the opportunity to be celebrated by the state. Hector Peterson was shot in blood. And that's why he was remembered. Because when it was difficult, he never turned his back and ran away. He stayed in the fight. And if we want to be remembered as heroes, that is what we have to do. Uh, it was a motivating factor for us because he told us the, the story of a student who was shot in the back and uh, no one cared about him, but Hector Peterson who was shot from the front was cared about and they, 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 they celebrated him because he confronted the, the, the opponent. So for us, it was all about going forward rather than running backwards. And it motivated us. We wanted to go forward and uh, be killed as, as heroes. So it kept us going. And we knew that the more you go forward, the, the more you confront the opponent and you will get the chances and you will win the game. And that's what we did. We managed to go forward and kept on fighting. And we, we managed to win the battle. Do you often get history lessons about South African history from Coach <laughs> McGuinness? <laughs> Yeah, definitely. We do get uh, all these stories from Coach Rulani, Coach Manova. He's got his stories as well. Uh, it's because he's, he's a little bit older. He knows all the stories. He gives us the insight of the stories. And uh, we have Coach Steve Compeller, who's also good with the books, and he reads us a few paragraphs. And it keeps us going. It educates us as players because most of us, we didn't know about the, 
the story of Hector Peterson. And, and there we go. It comes up in the game and we have to, to look at it and visualize it and try and, and do what heroes do for the, for, for the, for the club. Anyango has done his part. He has done his part and then some. We didn't start off well, but it was my responsibility as, uh, as the captain of the team at the moment. And, of course, one of the senior players to keep the players and the team in the game and to try and, and drag the game as long as I can and, and you know, play mind games with the opposition. And uh, that's how football is. It's all about mind games, uh, staying focused and working a little bit hard. And that's what happened in the, in the penalty shootouts. So there was a lot of unhappiness uh, when Sundowns eventually won. Uh, and two red cards were dished out to get on City players. Uh, there was protesting about a uh, penalty, sh that, that final pen penalty shot having to be retaken. So the rules say that when the ball is kicked, the defending goalkeeper must have at least a part of one foot touching or in line with the goal line. Uh, do you feel like you did anything wrong during the penalty shootout at all? Well, for me, I did what I had to do. Uh, I'm not the ref. I didn't see what happened. All I did was to save the ball. Uh, it's unfortunate that a few uh, cards were dished out, but of course that's expected when the team loses and they feel like something went wrong. And uh, uh, for us, we move on. We don't focus on such issues. Those are issues that are supposed to be dealt with by the referees or the, the fourth officials. And uh, we, 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 we don't make the rules. We just have to follow the rules. And uh, unfortunately for them, it, it, didn't, it didn't work out in their way and it worked out for us. Uh, I, I said that penalty shootouts offer goalkeepers the opportunity to, to be the hero. Uh, how sweet was yesterday's victory? Uh, you've won a lot with Mamelodi Sundowns, but yesterday's victory, how would you rate that in comparison to what else you've been able to win with the team? Um, for me, it was a, a, a sweet victory, especially for my, for my son who was turning 11 because uh, he turned 11 on, on Wednesday. And he, I, I promised to bring a trophy for him back home on, on, on Sunday. So he moved his birthday to Sunday, which, was, which is uh, being celebrated today with his friends. And of course, uh, not being able to win the, the MTN 8 for 14 years and of course becoming the lucky number 10 because I think it's 14 years ever since Sundown won uh, that kind of a trophy. And there comes Dennis Onyango with the number 14 jersey on his back and, and, and makes it happen for the club. And it's, it's amazing. And of course, with the support that I got from the teammates, the coaches and the, 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 the technical staff, of course, and the office, it shows that when you believe in someone, he will always give you the, 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 the good result. 14 years since they last won the trophy.